I think for decades uh, there has been a lot of therapeutic nihilism really in AML. I think we were a, a battered community because we watched many of the other hematologic malignancies really soar ahead with novel drugs and with substantial improvements in outcomes and we languished a bit because we just didn't seem to be able to get anything new to work for these patients and I do think that it affected many um, community physicians uh, in, in, with respect to their willingness to send patients in for clinical trials because it didn't seem like things were working. And coming into a major center and perhaps leaving your home for weeks at a time and being separated from your family to be on a clinical trial is a huge commitment. And I think that if your referring doctor doesn't really believe that the trial is going to be better for you, they may not be as convincing that a patient should, should participate. I do think now that we have some real success stories that are building. There are several new agents that have been FDA approved. I think we are seeing the patients actually advocate for themselves. One of mine in particular has been very vocal about a positive experience on a clinical trial. And I think there too, when patients see other patients doing well, it um, is galvanizing and I hope that there will be a resurgence and renewal and doubling and tripling of clinical trial participation because the truth is that although we have new drugs to play with, there are a lot of questions as to how to use them. And I would say that it's a struggle right now for not only community physicians, but for academic physicians to figure out what you can actually safely mix and match in a patient who might have features for which more than one of the newly approved drugs would be applicable. And that's a question that I get pretty much every day in the office in a phone call that, well, my patient has both a FLT3 mutation and an IDH mutation. Should I mix them? Should I use the drugs sequentially? I think one has to be quite careful with playing with with these and to try very hard to get patients onto the trials so that we can uh, really better manage the, um, the, the regimens and building them correctly as well as their toxicities.